Right, Pat McGuinness, NHP UK, just out on one of my jogs, um, just by the River Thames out, Waterloo over the road there, over the river should I say, and then you've got um, Trafalgar Square up that road there, and um, it's nice to see an England flag over there, don't know if you can see it on that little barge there, um, don't see many England flags in London, and uh, London is the capital of England, so... That's nice. Um, right, so Rini Sh Rishi, Rish Fishy Rishi Sunak reckons he's going to uh, uh, treat these people uh, coming onto the beaches at Dover as criminals. It clearly says in the United Nations Refugee Convention, which is nothing to do with the ECHR, that you cannot treat someone as a criminal if they're claiming asylum. The 1951 UN Refugee Convention was for Europeans, it's for Europe. They amended it in 1961 to include the whole world, right? Which basically gave the opportunity for the whole world to come and live in the UK legally. Just turn up on the beach. If they can prove they're fleeing persecution like they are in Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Eritrea, these are all countries, it's, they do under the uh, term of uh, claim of um, passing as a, a genuine refugee, those countries, it's 100% they're going to get it, right? Once they've turned up on the beach, it's too late. Uh, you know, um, Rishi Sunak is not going to put them in prison. There's no way he's going to start that. And they're, they're going to know this. They're gonna, not going to give their identities. And uh, Rishi Sunak will not have the power to... Well, he, he hasn't got the facilities, he hasn't got the detention centres to put all these people in detention until they agree to leave. So, you know, I don't know how he's going to do it, but it's, it, it may go into Parliament and they're going to maybe have to vote on it to bring out this new law which he is suggesting, yeah? For a start, <laughs> Labour are all going to vote against it and there's going to be the accusation of... Uh, the false accusation of anti-Semitism will start being thrown around in the Houses of Commons and they're all bowed down and say, no, we can't treat them as criminals. We can't. We've got to stay signed up to the Refugee Convention, which is destroying our country. So, um, Rishi Sunak is just going to be another failed um, uh, globalist politician, just like Pretty Patel failed. Suella Braverman hasn't... hasn't Suella Braverman keeps saying they're illegals coming across. How many is she charged and put in detention? How many? Zero, right? But she's too scared to say what the real problem is, that we need to stop accepting refugees. That is the root of the problem. Now, you know, while this is all going on, more talk and no walk, while this is all going on, there's 140,000 asylum seekers waiting to be processed the majority of them are from countries like i said afghanistan syria iraq eritrea iran and they easily pass as refugees they you know they're not gonna say oh you are a refugee but we can't accept you because you arrived on a dinghy they're never gonna say that because the uk is signed up to taking quotas all the major countries in the West are signed up to take, for taking qu refugee quotas and they, they divide it all around the world how many each country is going to take. So if they can prove they are refugees, they're not going anywhere. They're going to be given a council flat in front of our own people, right? I mean, how many people do you know in your vicinity where you live uh, the council flats are occupied by foreign-born people? I know, off the top of my head, I know about... Uh, 30. 30 foreigners who are in council flats who should be for our people. We've got a million people waiting for council flats in this country. And most of the council flats I know are taken up by foreigners. I mean, this is just an absolute disgrace. We are the National Housing Party United Kingdom. This is why we started the party. Come on guys, get involved. We've got, we got people like this living on the streets. Look. There's people living on the streets there, and there's no there's no uh, sign of the Dover disaster ever being solved, because no one no one will say we need to stop accepting genuine refugees. Farage won't say it. Tice won't say it. 
Hamilton won't say it, Richard Curtin won't say it, National Housing Party will say it. We speak the truth, we're not scared to be called politically correct names, yeah? Names are not bullets. We're not, we're not even required to get in the trenches. People need to join our party, stand in elections. We've had about six members join in the last few weeks. We're slowly growing and um, we've got three candidates for May, possibly four. Um, you know, there's other people interested as well in standing. The only way we're going to change it is putting pressure on the, on the, on the parties above us with, a, with a, a stop accepting refugees for citizenship and housing policy. That doesn't mean refugees shouldn't be helped, but we as the UK do not have the resources to help them. We're trillions in debt, we've got one million homeless, and they're just letting them flood in, and it's, it's wrong. You've got to be cruel to be kind. In your family, when you've got your family, you, you look after your children and that, and you, you're cruel to be kind. That's what we've got to do as a nation, as a family. So, please get in touch. Have a look at our website, nationalhousingparty.uk. Um, subscribe to uh, our YouTube channels, including this one. Follow us on Twitter. Um, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Gab, follow us on Telegram. You can find us on there, National Housing Party, United Kingdom. Thanks for watching and I guarantee you, Rishi, Fishy Rishi is all talk and no walk. Thank you.